What up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally just does not work. I'm, I'm sitting here. Mike, you don't have to turn it down. You don't have to turn it down. You can turn it back up because the mic only picks it up here. Mike's watching the wrestling, and I'm trying to understand how uh, having Rocket Wrestling Mania is a bad thing, that people are up in arms and all that. It's like, I thought Rock was like the king shit and all that but evidently he's just he's what he got too much power okay all right so i guess it's what what's roman reigns roman reigns okay that 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 y'all don't want to see him as the champion or something i mean i don't know i, I don't do wrestling uh, i wish i had rashid here who could explain it to me a little bit better because i know how passionate he was about wrestling so I was doing a video about Stephen Jones and the infamous phone call that we heard about. We don't know for sure that this happened, but this was a former employee who said that um, the Lions called the Cowboys about making a trade during the draft. And Stephen Jones did not even, you know, di didn't even know who it was, much less, you know, he said, well, I, you know, we'll, we'll, yeah, yeah, we'll call you back. And didn't even ask anybody about DeAndre Swift. Now, truth be told, DeAndre Swift um, was kind of a role player back. You know, a guy had, you know, 600 yards or so a season and things. He was a multiple running back. He ended up having a great year this year, uh, 4.6 yards a carry and over 1,000 yards. So hindsight's twenty twenty, but the fact that that you didn't even discuss with your scouting department if you didn't know who the guy was um, with them about the possibility does this guy fit? It was only one point seven million dollars, which is jump change in NFL contract wise, is a bad thing. And herein lies the problem because I'm trying to keep sticking it to the Joneses. I, they, they may end up seeing me at the stadium and call security on me because I've been giving bad publicity to the Cowboys and the organization. So Jerry Jones on the where he says he wants a home run. You know, I, I want to make a home run and a big splash here at defensive coordinator because that's what we do. You know, the same guy that said we're going all in this year. So. Asked on if having Mike McCarthy as a lame duck coach, not having any time left on his contract after this year, if that hurts the candidates coming in, his response is why? Because if they take the job, they'll want to be the coordinator of the Dallas Cowboys. They're looking at that right there. And there all that goes with that. You mean all the shit? Okay. And if they're inspiring, they know that there's a chance to be a head coach someplace because the one that just left us is. So it's a good opportunity for him. So your hiring practice is your selling point is it's just a springboard to getting another job. This is resume building, working for the Cowboys. And, and I don't know that I look at that the same way as Jerry Jones does. Because here's the problem with that whole theory that you have. That sounds great. That sounds great right there. But here's the problem. When you have so many free agents on your defensive line, a defensive front, you got Stephon Gilmore, you've got uh, Navelle Gallimore, you got Dante Fowler, you got Dorrance Armstrong, um, that are all free agents. Now, I don't know how many of those you'll bring back, and you're losing Dan Quinn along with Joe Witt. Chances are that you're going to rely on the draft for more players, and you're going to do what you've always been doing, which is you know, we're going to get guys that are cost effective. The chances for this defense to be the leading the NFL in takeaways and doing the things that they did last year may not be the case. It probably will take a step back because you could look at what happened with, say, Brian Johnson with the Eagles. You know, you could be saying, well, hey, you taking the coordinator job working with this great offensive line this great quarterback and everything else. If they step back, you're the fall guy. And that precludes you maybe from getting another job. 
because they'll look and they'll say, well, you didn't do what Dan Quinn did. You're a bum. You follow what I'm saying there? That's not necessarily advantageous. And then the problem is, is if you end up getting rid of Mike McCarthy at the end of the year, chances are, if you are getting actually a coach that's going to have some play and some power, he may not want you there. So that means you got one year to try and get a defense to an elite level, and that may not be the selling point. What it means is either you're saying we're hiring you to be the defensive coordinator or you kind of throw in there that you could be the head coach for the Cowboys if this guy fails. That would be the only way that that actually makes some sense. You follow what I'm saying? If you're saying, you know what, <laughs> Mike Zimmer, <laughs> you know, and Mike Zimmer has been, you know, he, he he's not looking for another job per se. I don't know. You know, at this point, I think he'll be happy to have a job to come back to Dallas and work with the talent that's here and things like that. And you may look at this and say, you know, if Mike McCarthy does fail, a guy I know and everything else from playing against him for many, many years, then maybe I can take the place of him since I know. That's where Mike Zimmer makes more sense than somebody else that's trying to build a resume to become a head coach. Again, this is where the dysfunction in Dallas is not there because the Cowboys are beginning to believe everything that they put out there. Oh, well, you know, this is the Dallas Cowboys. This is a great place. You know, ask Mike Nolan. Ask Mike Nolan how that worked out for him. Because Mike Nolan was here the last year. Oh, no, he was here the first year. First year, I'm sorry. Ask Mike Nolan how that worked out here. That that guy ain't got another job. So, yeah, Jerry Jones, Stephen Jones, I don't know that anything changes. And here it is. By now, most teams have pretty much filled out their rosters of coaches. We are the last one here to try and get a defensive coordinator. As far as I know, maybe Seattle hasn't yet, but we are so behind on the curve. It's not even funny, man. And this is the problem I have with the Cowboys. They always wait till the last minute to try and make a move. They're always reactive instead of proactive. You're sitting here trying to hire and talk about making a big splash. How are you making a big splash? Everybody gone. Everybody, the hot coordinators, the young guys, the people that everybody wants and stuff, they're gone. So how are you making a big splash? Who are you kidding, Jerry? Who are you kidding? Some bull jiggity. Peace.